this right before we get started here. Everybody, give me just a minute. Make sure my lines are right. There we go. That's good. Well, hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Midweek Moment. You know, every week I do that. Before I share a, a word with you, I, I make sure that my camera angles are correct. And, and this is who I am. I, I have this perfectionistic tendency. And maybe some of you can relate to me in that. I, I want to get things right. Uh, but recently I was introduced to a phrase that helped to describe this for me. Maybe you've heard the, the acronym FOMO, fear of missing out. Well, I was listening to a podcast and the person being interviewed talked about FOMU, which is a fear of messing up. And ever since I've come across that phrase, I've realized that's me. That's my struggle. I want to get things right. In fact, every week as I share a message with you, I go in and I edit the video and I make sure that, that I'm saying things exactly the way that I want them to be said. And, and sometimes as I'm recording a video, I'll actually stop the video and start over. <laughs> just something didn't come out right. In fact, I, I just did that this afternoon. This is take number two on the video. And I asked myself, where does this FOMU come from? And I think it's, it's rooted in two things. Number one, it's rooted in my own pride. Because I want to look good. I want to get things right. And I have to continue to learn humility. Paul says in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, that, that we should not think more highly of ourselves than we ought, but we should think about ourselves with sober judgment according to the faith that God has given to us. I don't always have to get it right. I do things to the best of my abilities that God has given to me, and then I rely on him for the results. So rather than being filled with pride, I continue to have to learn humility. The second thing that my FOMU is rooted in is my people-pleasing tendencies. That I want other people to like me. I want to look good in the sight of others around me. When in reality, God's word reminds us that it's primarily about our relationship with Jesus. So Paul says in Galatians chapter 1, verse 10, he says, Am I trying to please people? Am I trying to gain the approval of men or am I trying to please God? Because if I'm trying to please people, then I am no longer a servant of God. And a servant simply does what God asks them to. And God doesn't ask us to get it perfect. He just asks us to be faithful. And sometimes that means we're going to fail. We're not going to get things perfect right away. So I just want to encourage you this week, especially for those of you who are perfectionists, for those of you who struggle with FOMU like me, to give up your pride, to give up your people-pleasing tendencies, and just to listen to God. If he tells you to do something, just do it. And trust him with the results. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.